everybody, this is Praxis. I came here on site to deliver mostly some materials today. Uh, I've got these foamed tubes. Well, there's one right behind me, one over here. These are, go again, going to be the tubes that are supplying the outside air for the wood stove. This one on the ground, diagonally to your left, is approximately where it's going to go. And it curves up and it's going to be feeding air over there. It uh, cuts back to this little stake I have in the ground, and then that's where this one behind me is going to get set in and go through the pass-through on the foundation over here. Behind you, I, uh, I'm not able to assemble at this point because this whole trench area here has to get filled in with gravel. And you can see some of the gravel for that is behind you. Uh, there's several very large gravel piles. And uh, those got dropped off uh, yesterday. Uh, the contractor uh, you know, brought them, and he's going to be coming in a couple of days. Uh, he was one of the people who had a parent in the hospital, and it was his mom, and she died um, just a couple days ago. He let me know, so I told him, you know, right off, it's like, you know, obviously I'd love to keep going, but you know, you got to, you know, take care of your family stuff and don't feel like a, lot, a ton of pressure for me to like get back here. But um, you know, he's kind of, I think, how I would be. It's like you don't want to just sit and stew about it. So, uh, you know, he says he wants to keep working, and I get that. It's like, you know, you know, someday when my parents go, I'm not going to want to just sit around and do nothing and think about how sad I am about it. I, you know. You, know, you want to kind of keep doing your life and stuff. So he said he's going to come back in a couple days and uh, lay that gravel in on this side of the foundation, on the other side of the foundation, and do all the uh, the drainage trenches. Uh, also behind you, you can see uh, some more deliveries showed up. There's the pink foam insulation on the left, and there is uh, another rectangular pile on the right. That is the cinder blocks. They finally showed up from Home Depot. They stood me up three times in a row saying they were going to show up, and then they didn't. Uh, and then they showed up without te even telling me. Uh, I, they had very specific instructions about where to drop those uh, to the left, I'm sorry, to the right and as far back as possible uh, next to the foam pile. They just dropped it right in front of it as though they had no care for where I had told them to put it. They put it right in the middle where trucks are going to have to be going in and out. It's very inconvenient for me where they dropped it. I'm going to be going back and letting them know how really dissatisfied I am with their service. I, you know, standing me up three times in a row and then dropping it in like really, I mean, I guess it would have been worse if they dropped in the middle of the driveway, like halfway down the driveway. That would have been worse. <laughs> but I mean, short of that, it's like it's right in the middle of wherever, you know, everything has to move around and I need to get the other stuff delivered. It's just really, really lousy. I guess I could move them one at a time, you know, off somewhere, but that's going to be like a good hour of my time. I, actually, I can do two at a time, one in each hand. But uh, yeah, so that sucks. But you know, that's, it's not it's not like a game killer or anything. I can keep going. Hey, River, River, that's not a safe place to be. River, I, I need no. I need you to get back from there right now. He's climbing on the foundation over by the rebar coming up. Uh, it's a, quite a drop down to there. And also, I, I don't want him kicking any stones between the foam and the uh, and the foundation. So. Um, yeah, so things continue to go forward, but, you know, there's always hassles. There's always people, you know, not doing what they say they're going to do. That's been the last hundred days, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, we're still there, but, uh, you know, we're getting really close to where we're going to be getting our lumber in and we can really get going. Uh, I've got a sledgehammer in my hand because the only thing I really have to do here other than drop off stuff is, uh, these little, uh, pins, the form pins. I'm going to be knocking off a few more of those, uh, to make it so that when I put in the uh, under uh, under uh, slab insulation, I'm going to have it kind of curve up right to the side of the foundation. I'm just going to get knock the top layer of those off just so the foam can go right up to the foundation there. But overall, things are going really well. That's it. Thanks for watching.